everyone. Welcome to the daily reading. This is the daily reading for Monday, December the 10th, 2018. Hope you guys are all having a great Monday so far. Uh, for your reading today, I'm using the Everyday Oracle, also known as the Vera Sevilla Italiana. I uh, will see what energies come up. I am reading for all signs, so, you know, Aries through Pisces, and uh, I may pick up your energy if you watch these readings frequently. So let's see what is going on for today, Monday, December the 10th, 2018. What are the most important messages and energies you'd like to deliver to the collective spirit? What are the messages and energies you'd like to deliver to the collective for today? We have constancy, la costanza. What else do we need to know regarding today, Monday? December the 10th, 2018. We have the casa, which is the home or family. What else do we need to know about Monday, December the 10th, 2018? other messages would you like to share with the collective for today? We have the dispiacere, 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 worry. What else do we need to know? I'm going to do a couple more here. We have the thief and the child. All right. This is the Eladro and the Bambino. Now, uh, sometimes the child card doesn't actually represent a child. It can represent other things. Just like in the tarot, there are different meanings. When we look at the cards together, we can get a full picture. Yeah, so <clears throat> the first thing I see is we have La Costanza, which is immutability and perseverance. Just like the column, you know, it can last the test, things can last the test of time. This is constancy, this is things not changing, things kind of, you know. There's fortitude here. There's It's like the Nine of Wands. Like you're hanging on there. You're fighting. You're holding your ground. I'm seeing someone here who's strong like a pillar. This can be like a pillar in the family. But, uh, you know, it's immutability as well. Which is things, uh, this can be a fixed sign. I could be reading for it as well. But, so things aren't changing. Things are just the... Chill and stay in the same here. We've got um, also the Ten of Hearts, which is like the Ten of Cups in the Tarot. So I'm definitely getting, um, you know, family as well. Family coming up, family stability. Uh, the home is means also traditionalism, uh, the traditions of the family, things not changing here. Um, a strong family as well. This can be a family that doesn't change. Uh, things in the family don't change. Um, things staying the same in the family. Keeping the family strong. You know, that's kind of the, the picture I'm picking up here. I am seeing a woman here who's afflicted. She's worrying. Uh, there could be some ir something that's irritating her, something that's troubling her. With the uh, dispiacere. Now she's hiding her face in her hand, so she could be worrying about her home and family. Uh, she could be worrying about um, something regarding the house, her house. Um, but uh, more alarming than that, we have the Eladro, which is the thief. So obviously this is someone who uh, can be a thief. Oh, sorry, the candle just went out. I have to get a new one. Yeah, so 
the Eladro represents lost goods, robbery, or fraud. So it could be that there's someone doing something behind her back. This could also be that uh, someone here um, someone here is worried regarding something they've lost. Uh, someone who is fraudulent. Uh, this can be also, um, you know, someone that could pose a threat to her family. And we also have the child. Now I'm looking at uh, the direction of the cards here. So the thief is facing the bambino. So the bambino is the child representing birth or growth of a new project or an idea. So there's some kind of new beginning here. Now this can also represent a literal child. Um, but uh, so far I'm seeing a man and a woman here. Now the woman does seem to be the one who's more afflicted. Um, you, if you're dealing with someone like a, the thief, for example, can be someone who is cheating. This can be someone who's lying. This can be, actually there's a different card for the liar, but you get my drift. This is someone who is very sneaky. Um, this can be someone who's, who is, um, it, it does, it does bother me that it's next to the, the Bambino card. Um, so I'm actually, let me go ahead and clarify the child. What else do we need to know about the child in this reading? Room. Um, the room and the stanza represents intimacy, solitude, and privacy. So it, it can be, you know, wanting to uh, be alone with one's own thoughts or ideas, wanting, you know, privacy, wanting to be alone. Um, it can also indicate intimacy um, in some uh, readings. But it, uh, the stanza is clarifying the bambino. So it could be that there's um, someone is worried about a child being alone. Um, someone taking something from a child who is alone. There can also be a woman here uh, who... This can be someone who comes from a very traditional home or family. And this person can be worrying about... Um, like someone taking uh, something from her child or, you know, stealing, or even this can be with regards to custody or something like that. Um, but this can also be someone who is trying to, 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 who wants to be alone. You know, they're trying to maybe take time for themselves to be alone. Um, or they want more time to themselves. Let's go ahead and clarify the worry. Okay, where's your name? Yeah, I'm seeing someone here who feels like they can't act. They probably feel like they have, um, <sighs> they may feel like they are a prisoner of their own circumstances, you know, similar to the Eight of Swords in the Tarot. They feel like they, they're, they're powerless, and that's probably why they're worried. Not a source, it is source kind of energy. Um, let me go ahead and clarify the uh, thief. Who is this thief? Who is this thief coming up? Well, this can be someone who suffers from depression. It can be also someone who um, is sad about something. Um, they could be sad about having lost uh, something, having something taken from them, or um, someone having passed away as well. 
But, um, so that uh, actually I'm getting it that the thief is this woman. Uh, so not to take it too literally, but, um, I feel like someone here does want a new beginning. They may actually want to be alone. They may be want, maybe want to be alone with their own thoughts, um, to be left alone in a situation. And I feel like they're maybe trying to take time for themselves to recover from something that has been uh, rather sad for them, uh, depressing for them. Um, but they may currently feel like they, there's nothing they can do. Um, this may be having to do with something with regards to the home, family, or stability. And things just not changing in that area. Um, so they may feel trapped by their circumstances, etc. Um, I am getting it that, that the thief actually is not another person. It's actually this woman who, um, underneath the surface, is actually um, can be suffering from depression or something else. Um, so, kind of an interesting reading. I wasn't expecting that. Never. I'm always surprised by the cards that come up here. So, I would like to actually... <clears throat> Pull a guidance message. Move this over. I just realized that things are kind of not centered. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and pull a guidance message here. Please help clarify this reading. What else do we need to know? This could also be someone who wants to be alone with their ideas. Um, Or someone that can be sad about um, someone taking something from them, which causes them to be alone. I just get the sense that someone here feels very trapped and um, by their own fears, by their own worries. What is your guidance for today, please? And help clarify this reading. What is your guidance for today? We have the Web Weaver and the Map Maker of Destiny. Okay, so the Web Weaver talks about synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. And the Map Maker of Destiny talks about authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. So, it's actually saying that now is one of those times where you do have free will. You know, there are certain times in your life where things are faded. And there are certain times in your life when you do have choice. You have a choice. Um, so, someone may have a choice to make here. They, they realize, uh, they may not realize that they do have free will. They can choose where they want to go at this point. Um... Let's see what the web weaver says. That's number four. <clears throat> yeah, so the web weaver rejoices that your creations are far reaching and have positive effects on the many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the web of creation. When the web weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention. And lets you know you're not alone in your endeavors. You know, I see someone who feels like they're alone. Okay. <laughs> Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicity occurs. Music reverberates through the web and plays in harmony with your own. 
This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. If your query is about a relationship, the Web Weaver gives you assurance that meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and, and wide, and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things will be revealed through the web. So that caught my attention, the patterns that are playing out through your life. Is there some pattern here that you are also uh, replaying? Okay, so also, and what I mean by that is with regards to the way that maybe your family, things happen in your family, the way things, or the way that you were brought up, etc. There's something synchronistic about the events that are happening today. And then the map maker of destiny, number 24. When the map maker of destiny appears, it's a sign that you're being given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map with a myriad paths that intersect with one another. Your map of destiny shows all the places you're meant to visit, places where you will be challenged to evolve into the highest aspects of the self. Remember that you're a spark of the divine come to earth to experience itself in human form. As such, your path is unique. It's also somewhat preordained, and fate represents the events in your life that were meant to happen and that you can't change. Fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to your circumstances. Destiny, destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of fated experience. So free will and choice are possible at certain points on your map. So now is one of those times you're faced with a relationship or circumstance brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead you into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate, come to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challenger makes you face the things within you that you must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you an ally in the form of a wonderful new project or a challenger in the form of a failed business. No matter which form they take, all are perfect expressions of fate, inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now, and remember that fate makes the map, but destiny is determined by the manner in which you engage your journey. I do see some new project or idea here. And I'm actually seeing that whatever the circumstances are here, you may be sad about leaving someone behind, feeling stuck in a situation. I'm seeing that this is meant to happen because there's something that new coming. And in order for that new thing to come into your life, in order for that new project, that new idea to have the right environment to kind of start to bubble up to the surface and kind of get that new air, that fresh air, you're meant to kind of be alone at this point in order for that period to happen, in order for that to take place. It is for your authentic purpose. It is so that you can have that inspiration. So it's an important time right now. It may not feel like it. You may not be happy about it. But <clears throat> I'm seeing that there's a divine intelligence at play here, okay? And that, to me, is magic. That's the magic behind this. Um, and there's synchronicity as well. So that's why it's important to pick your head up and accept kind of where things are right now and to realize that everything does happen for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. 
you know. So let me know if this resonates with you. It was kind of a strange reading. But then again, we are using the Vera Sibylla Italiana, which these cards are a little bit kooky. So let me know if you resonate below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And have a wonderful Monday. I will talk to you soon. Bye.